You're trying to figure it out. Hello. What about me? Everything was going so smooth and normal-like in my life until I chased around and uncovered the dirty dealings in my hometown. Since then, I've been like Alice in the looking glass. Of those kids when they found Narnia. Wow. Part of me felt like Aim was mistaking me for someone else. Yet, I could not unsee what I had seen, and I had to wonder if there was a connection, after all, between us. Aim, she's like an escaped mental patient, or the king of drama queens. But I knew she meant well. She thought the world of me. Thank the gods I found you, she said. Remember how I first came upon you months ago, in your shadow of despair, under the spell of your addiction, living in that god-awful place on the shores of Lake Merritt? I was only there for the taking, and knew right away by your true pale blues, your all-star shoes, and the light in your eyes, we were related. Imagine that, tying us together by our shoelaces. These people, the ones who call themselves Deluxe, you didn't have to say anything half the time because they already knew what you were thinking before you said it. Mind readers. But if AIM knew about Black hooking me up, she never mentioned it. I was worried she might try and cut off my supply like good friends tend to want to do. Scratch the needle some more across the broken record of my life to the next song couldn't tell up from down. The only time I felt like myself was when I was high as a kite. Black told me if I needed more pills where I could find them. And I did indeed go there. One lost and desperate day after a particularly jarring night, shuffling back behind that boarding house where Maze lived, half defeated, and gripped the wrought irons and hollered through the half-open windows. And out he came, like he expected me, looked around quick, and ushered me in.